we are going to speak about the three types of taxation systems. It's a topic that I personally find a little bit confusing. Now, there are three types, progressive, proportional, and regressive. The first one we're going to speak about is progressive, and it could be summarized in this sentence. It's a tax in which the average rate of taxation rises with your income. So people with a higher income pay a higher percentage of their income as taxes. The best way to understand it is like this. So if you have uh, an income from zero to five thousand dollars, you pay zero percent. If your income increases to five thousand to a hundred thousand, you pay five percent of that. And as your income increases, your marginal tax rate also increases. And that's basically it. And an example for the progressive taxation system is the federal income taxation um, if you live in the United States. So this taxation system, is, and we've been speaking about income, so naturally it's usually a direct tax on income. Now, our second uh, taxation system, and it's the easiest to understand, the proportional taxation system. So, no matter how much money you have or how much money you make, the money you're going to spend as taxes might change, but the rate of taxation will never change. So, the average rate of taxation stays the same, and everyone pays the same percentage. So, if I make $1,000 a month, and I have to pay 10%, I'm paying $100. If a person is making a million dollars, he still has to pay only 10%. So the, the percentage stays the same for everyone. So uh, the proportional taxation system uh, could sometimes be a direct tax on income, but this is uh, like a very small percentage of time where it's a direct tax and it could be an indirect tax on health care social security and that kind of thing not so much as goods now the regressive taxation system is the opposite of progressive taxation system so as your income increases the fraction of income paid as taxes decreases so you have a decreasing average rate of taxation now the best way to understand this is from this example there are two boys, and they both want to buy this car. Now, this car is $10,000 before uh, value-added tax or sales tax or tariffs or however you'd like to call it. With tax, it has a 10% tax, so you have to pay $1,000 additionally. Now, this boy makes $20,000, and this boy makes $10,000 as an income. Now, they both want to buy it, and they're both going to pay this tax. So, $1,000 for the boy who makes only 10000 is 10% of his income. Now, the boy that makes $20,000 pays only 5% of his income as a $1,000 value-added tax. So, as your income increases from 10000 to 20000 your um, average rate of taxation decreases. So it's the exact opposite of the progressive taxation system. And this one is uh, only or mostly only on in, uh, direct taxes, imported goods, that kind of thing. And yes, this is it for today.